And we are now going to move into some exercises on our knees. So a lot of these exercises in level one and level two, we introduce them seated or sitting on a box. We're gonna go up onto our knees. Uh, you wanna be very careful. Pulling on the straps while you're kneeling can really tip you down into the well or tip you offside. So you, it's best to have a teacher if you can when you're being first spotted through these. Um, uh, once you get used to it, it's fine, but just be very careful as you're going, all right? We're gonna do just quarter spring today, and then we'll take the rest off. Um, you can do quarter spring, half spring, three quarter spring, one spring, whatever your body uh, needs, but if it's lower, just know that the carriage is more fluid, and so you have to balance on that a little bit more. And I'm gonna take the foot bar down for us. Good, so first thing we're gonna do is chest expansion. So you're gonna hold on to the ropes above the tapes, kind of like chariots of fire. And when you're in this position, pulling that pelvis up underneath you and connecting your ribs is really what's gonna anchor you and keep you from tipping forward, all right? So here we go. We're going to exhale, pull back, and we'll sniff and look right, sniff and look left. Exhale, bring the head center, and then inhale, carefully return the carriage without toppling into the well. And again, exhale, pull back. We'll go left now. Sniff left, sniff right, exhale center, and then inhale, return. And again, pull it back as you breathe out. Look to the right, inhale. Look to the left, inhale. Exhale, center, and then return. And pull back. And we're gonna go left. Inhale left, and then inhale right. Exhale center, and then inhale return. All right, we're gonna continue with chest expansion, but we're gonna add little pulses back. So this is gonna be more to the posterior shoulder girdle and your triceps up top. So here we go. Inhale, pull back behind your midline. Exhale, bring your hands in line with your hips. Inhale and exhale, pulse it back. Oh, one and a two, and a three, and then inhale, return. Let's change that breathing, I didn't like it. Exhale, pull back. I messed up, ladies and gentlemen. Inhale, center, I never do that. Exhale, one, and two, and three. Inhale, return. Two more sets of this. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, center, good job. Exhale, three. Exhale, two, exhale, one, and then inhale, return. Last set of this one. Pull back as we breathe out. Nice wide open chest. Inhale, and exhale, three, and a two, and a one. Very good. And bring the carriage back in. Excellent. Okay. We're going to put our straps down, and we're going to flip around, and now we'll do reverse expansion. We're gonna leave it at quarter, same thing. You have to be careful, the carriage is moving, so you wanna make sure that your client knows if they pull on their straps, it's gonna pull the carriage up underneath them and they'll go flipping forward, all right? This is something with someone new, you may wanna keep a foot or a hand on the carriage to make sure it doesn't go somewhere, but hopefully by this point, if they're at level three, they um, have a bit of mind-body awareness where this isn't gonna be a big deal. But the first few times doing this can be quite exciting. Okay, here we go, inhale. Now scoop it down, exhale, reach out and forward about eye height, good. And now reach out and down as you inhale. So these are all things in level four we're gonna do with teasers. Exhale, out and forward, so it's best to practice them here. And bring it down. We're gonna do five of these. Exhale, reach the arms out and forward. So you're feeling like you're pushing your arms forward from the backs of your shoulders. Yep, two more. And that'll connect you right into your ribs and your abs. And Malia's doing a beautiful job. Last time, reach it out and forward. And then down. So now we're gonna do little circles, more like ovals. So you're gonna reach it out and forward, and then just do a little circle out and down. Just three each way. Forward, 
little circle out and down. One more, forward, little circle out and down. Gorgeous, other way. So you're gonna go out and up, and then together and down. One, exhale, out and up, together and down. Two, and out and up, together and down. Now we're gonna try and do some bicep curls. We doing okay? All right, she's very anchored and making this look like there's nothing going on. So our arms are straight and you can make fists now if you want. All you're gonna do is bend your elbows up to about 90 degrees and then return it out with grace and control. And again, two, let's do eight. We need to pump up those biceps. What's really good is her chest is nice and open and her head is floating up and she's not falling off the carriage. Four, that would be bad. Five, three more. Seven. Last time, please. Eight. Nice. All right. Bring that carriage in. How are we doing? Okay. Let's, we're going to continue with kneeling, and now we're going to do the side arm series that we were doing either seated or on the box, but now on our knees. Okay. Knees are okay? All right. So the first thing is internal rotation. So you're going to have your sh hand either on the short loop or the long loop, whatever you like. And you can be close to the shoulder rest or a little bit further away. And our elbow is gonna be about two inches away from our waist. So if it's too far in, bring it all the way in. The line of action for your internal rotators is too small to actually work and you end up having to use your deltoid and your pec. So you wanna reach it out a little bit and it's gonna stay there. And then you're just gonna close your door like you did. And then open your door, perfect. So things to think about here is this opposite rib supporting you. Two, and we'll just do five of these. Three. And we're keeping it at quarter spring. Again, you can do quarter spring, half spring, three quarter spring, one spring, whatever you like. Four. And one more time, five, perfect. Now you're gonna change hands and you'll use the short loop or long loop, whichever you like. You can slide your hand in like Malia's doing or just hold it like you're gripping. Same thing, you want the elbow just a little bit away from your waist and then you're gonna try maybe open the door a little bit. Oh, and it moves, one. I don't know if mine would move. I'm so impressed, two. Let's reach energy out this opposite arm. Beautiful, because that's gonna help stabilize that opposite side. Three, four, five. Nice, we're gonna do some ab and adduction. So change hands now. You can do short loop or long loop. Your elbow is nice and wide. And let's start with our hand towards our tummy and then reach the elbow out and away and you can keep your palm to you or flip it out whichever you like and then bring it back in one and reach it out and remember you want to go on that 40 degree angle so the humerus bone rotates yep and bring it down two how are we doing we're having a good time and three two more I can tell you're enjoying this good thing we're only doing five yeah four one more please you're doing fabulous Beautiful, okay, change hands. So now you'll, I would do the long loop for this one. You can do short, you can add more weights. We don't need to. And now you're gonna reach the elbow out and away on that 40 degree angle, and then bring it back down. Two, good, looks beautiful. Three, two more. Four, five. All right, are you ready for some Saturday Night Fever? All right, so we're gonna keep the same hand. We're gonna start to reach our elbow out, and then you're gonna try and reach and straighten that arm out on that diagonal, push, and then reach out with the elbow as you bend and bring it back in, nice. Five, here we go, and again, reach it out and push push 
and bend and bring it in. And again, this is three. Reach it out and push and bend and bring it in. Two more. Reach it out and four. Bend. One more time. Pumping it up, honey. Five. Rotator cuffs of steel. Rest. Other side. That was great. All right. Here we go. She's going to flip a Rooney, and we're going to do the whole thing on the other side. So first thing is our internal rotation. On our knees, short loop in the hand. Again, remember, you want your elbow out about two inches away from your waist. Fingertips are long. Everybody's connected. And we're going to close our door. One. Good. So you can put little pillows there, or if you're working with the client, you just kind of keep your hand there so that they can feel where it is. Three. Yep. Two more times. Four. One more round. Five. Excellent. Okay, we're going to change hands. And you can do short loop or long loop. Deep breath and open your door. One. And so we can see her shoulders back here, too. So the whole time we're trying to keep them wide. Yep, three. Oh, that is gorgeous. Still in space. Four. Beautiful. Last time. Five. Okay, now we're going to change hands and we're going to rub our Buddha belly. Here we go. Reach the elbow out and away. And again, you can keep your palm facing or turn it out, whatever you like. Two. Three. We love our left. Four. Everyone loves their left. One more. Five. Good. Change hands. All right. Here we go, nice and tall. Inhale, exhale, reach it out. One. Very good. Two. Three. Four, five. Excellent. Okay, Saturday Night Fever. Here we go. Doing the John Travolta. Bend and then reach it out. Push, push, push. And then bend and we return. Gorgeous. Reach it out. Push, push, push. Bend and return. So what's so fabulous about doing this on the reformer is it forces your center to work, otherwise you'll fall off. If you just have a weight doing this, you can let your belly go and you'll never know. But here, you cannot just let your belly go, can you? No. You must have everything working, including your rotator cuff. And so then it's gonna integrate that shoulder girdle right into your entire body. One more, was that it? That was it. Fantastic. All right, we're going to do one more kneeling. We're going to do spine twist. So flip back around. You can do short loop or long loop. We'll do 10. Now this is tricky. We're rotating the rib cage right around our pelvis. So ideally, you've got two headlights on a car, and they're going to stay straight going forward, where your ribs are going to be moving, just like you were sitting. However, now that we're kneeling, our hips like to get going, doing the twist, and we want them still. So you can pretend like you're holding a big circle here, and I am going to just come right over here and already help Miss Malia. So this is how you can spot your clients. You can put your hands kind of on your hips, and then inhale, and you're going to twist, and you're going to feel this right side push to the left side, and then come back to the center. Yep, and we'll just go center, and then about 45 degrees to the left. Perfect. And she is perfect. Three. We're going to go for ten. It's like you've done this before or something. Four. Five. 
So the sash effect that's happening is the right external oblique and the left internal oblique are connecting in the front to make this happen. And then around the back, you've got the muscles in the back connecting from the left side over to the right side. So lower traps, iliocostalis, multifidy on the right. Oh no, what number are we on? I started spewing out num uh, anatomy terms. 10, excellent work. Okay, should we do the other side? She decided yes. Okie dokie, here we are. Pull our arms up, nice and tall, inhale, and now twist left, exhale. Right hip stays forward, perfect, one. So again, you just check, make sure your client's nice and still there, two. The other thing to remember is that, um, three, your ribs, the movement in the thoracic spine is only about 45 degrees, four. So you only really need to take your breastbone and move it about 45 degrees in whichever way you're turning. Six, if you go further than that, you're not really getting rotation in the thoracic spine. You're probably getting it at your hips. Eight, two more. And she loves her left external oblique. Nine and her right internal oblique. They're some of her most favorite muscles ever. 10. And rest. And go ahead, put that down. How'd that feel?